Hello and welcome back to Broken Sword. Uh, what were what were we doing last time? We got this. Oh right, we got the key thing. So yeah, let's let's go and take that to the countess. I was about to say duchess, but countess, I guess. What is the difference between a count and a duke, anyways? I don't know. Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? Has he Any found anything? Yet? We are looking for a source of water. Oh. See? Yes? For generations, the Spanish country folk have had a secret way of locating water, even if it is meters beneath the ground. Ah, you're not talking about water dousing, are you? Eh? You know, you get a stick and walk around until the stick twitches and... Oh, dear. There. Oh, you've heard of it. Yeah, I think most of the planet has. Okay, let's get a stick. Uno momento. It must be a special stick. A Y of hazel. Right. Do you have any hazel trees? See, si. Here. That is hazel. This? Okay. Well, let's get a twig then. Or a branch. So that was what a hazel tree looks like. Is it? I don't think those look like hazel trees. I'm pretty sure. I went over to find a suitable stick. I don't believe it. There wasn't a single usable Y-shaped branch on the whole really? damn thing. Really? Yeah, that's... There wasn't a... That's pretty unlikely. Hi, Lopez. Certainly. And I can't ask him about that. Do you know what this is? No, senor. Is it some kind of key? Yeah, I think it probably is. Where did you get it? It was hidden inside the big candle in the mausoleum. And you burnt it? I wondered what the light was I saw through the window. My lady will be furious. The candle was centuries old. Ah. Yeah. That's kind of what I thought. Well, at least he's not furious. I mean, if I show her the key, she's, she should be alright with it. But yeah, it's kind of a douche move, just burning their candles that they've had for generations. Hello again. My Please. Alright, so I think... Hmm. Yeah. What does this charge you have pyromaniac tendencies? Of course. What do you make of this? It looks like some sort of key. Where did you get it from? It was buried inside the great candle in the mausoleum. Inside it? What have you done to it? Oh. No. Uh, lit it. But it is irreplaceable. Listen, the candle was to be lit in case of Moorish attack, right? Well, it burnt down in no time and revealed this key thing. Maybe that was the real purpose of lighting the candle. What are oh you dear. Suggesting? Well, it's that still lighting pretty the was douchey. The equivalent of break glass in case of emergency. A sentiment must not stand in the way of solving this mystery. You I don't know. Things. Like, you should have probably asked first. But, okay. I'll have a look around it. My home. You know, I still don't even get why he burned the candle down. How did he know that he was supposed to do that? It was just like, burn candle, because why not? And is there anything that's locked over here? I don't think so. So what am I doing now? Are there any hints for this? Yeah, but I need one. Um, this won't work. Hi, Lopez. Anthony. Guess I'll just talk about these. This tissue is charred. Why is he talking to the right? Any argument from me on that, Senor Stobart? Okay. Uh. Hmm. Uh. Uh. All right. There wasn't a single. So can I? I don't think I can do anything here. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take a hint. It might be something ridiculous again, or I might just be dumb. That's not the only hazel tree. Well, okay. Let's have a look around then. Like here? 
Is there a hazel tree nearby? Does not look like it. Do I have to leave to find a hazel tree? It, I didn't want... Yeah, he doesn't want to leave. Uh, let's check by the, the hose. That might have a tree next to it. Oh, this is hazel. Okay. So that was what a hazel tree... Again, I don't think that is hazel, is it? Over I'm not sure. Stick. I'm uh, gonna Google ah. it after I'm done with this. I thought hazel was like more... I don't know. More or less like that. It was a thin, supple tw Let's ask the Countess about the twig before we take it to... To... What is he called? I don't know. Lopez. Hello again. Mind if I sit? Please. Be my guest. Uh... Also, excuse me, I seem to have gotten hiccups. So, oh god. I don't like hiccups. Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. Well, I got my divining rod. Now what? Simplicity itself, senor. Hold the wand at the upper ends of the Y. Apply a little tension with your wrists so that the slightest movement of the wand tip is clear and walk slowly and steadily over the area. Sounds easy enough. <laughs> we'll find this well in no time. Sure. Oh my god, Lopez is actually doing something besides gardening. Senior Stobart, you've, you've found something. This is it. This is where we find the secret of the Templars, hidden here for hundreds of years. Lost from the sight of man until now. The mystery is revealed. It's a tin can. I've been walking up and down with a twig in my hands, looking for a tin can. It had water in it. That's what the dowsing stick must have detected. I'd have to check with an archaeologist, but I don't think the Templars left that. In truth, Senor Stobart, the lawn was laid many, many years ago. This can could date back to the Napoleonic Wars. Get rid of it and I'll try it again. Lopez threw the can away. It seemed to fall an awfully long way. Wow. The splash at the end confirmed what we both suspected. Really? Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It has been here all the time. All those years and nobody found it. Stood in awe for a moment. Marveling at the secrets all around us. I could have fallen down that. He should have seen it. If he's like the gardener here. I don't know. Guess we're in the well. The well had been lost for decades at least. The air was cool after the noon sun. But that's not what gave me goosebumps. I have a really, really bad feeling about this. How come? Sometime in antiquity, there'd been a rock slide. Big ones. I wished I'd had a hard hat. Alright. I can go back up, I guess. Let's have a save. So what, what did it say about the lion thing? Lion and unicorn? From a distance, 
The lion's head had been impressive. Close up, it was frightening. This looks hey, like this might have been an, a unicorn. Is a separate piece. Take it. I could hear the sound of a lot of stone moving, and I knew I was in danger. Okay. <laughs> oh, very what? funny, you psychos! What? Are you all right? It's okay, Lopez, I'm fine. Hey, Susto Mirazaga, you gave me a scare. Nice try, Templars. Jeez. I wish that I had Leary's flashlight now. It was too dark to see, and I had to rely on touch. It just felt like a pitted stone wall. Why not ask him I'd for a torch? Been killed for the sake of a red herring. What? I wish it was. It just felt like a pitted. I'd almost. Hmm. Nothing. Sometimes big ones. I wish I'd had a hard hat. Let's ask for a torch, maybe. Or flashlight. It was a long way down. The brilliant midday sun shone almost directly down the shaft, and I still couldn't see the water. Hi, Lopez. Anthony. Flashlight. It's really dark down there. Do you have a flashlight or something? No. I broke my torch only last month. Damn. It's so bright up here, but the light's just not getting into the corners. Oh. See? The yeah. Light, it goes in straight lines. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Catch you later, Lope. Adios, Senor Toba. I think I kind of get it now. Guess I should have realized this before I even talked to him. But that was a bit obvious. Oh. Oh. Here then? I realized I could use the mirror to reflect the light from above. There, in the middle of the door, I could see some kind of socket. It looked like this wasn't quite the dead end it seemed. All right, unlock it. I slid the stone key into the lock. There were buttons that turned the dials. Oh, okay, so here's this thing. Uh, the Countess was very excited to hear I had discovered the tomb of her missing ancestor. I've read this. A hiding place, the well is deep. We will bring light into hidden things. Save me from the lion's mouth. And then, guess I brought light to, hid to a hidden thing. The candle in the mausoleum that contains some sort of carved stone key. Yeah, that's... I've read all that. And what was the... Numerals 14, 27... Wait, 14, 27? How does this work? Oh, I think I understand. Maybe. No, I don't. Also, was that 14 or 16? 14. Um. I must have made a mistake. The lock spun back to neutral and nearly took my fingers off. I was going to... Mm hmm? So, I guess, let's try doing 14. Oh, I keep going this way. I heard the sounds of the lock moving. Either that or the wall was going to come down on my head. 14? Yes, thank you. Okay. I don't know how he knows which, like, which, uh, sequence is the right one, but oh well. 27. Yep. 
six, and then like eighty one or something. Eighty one, three and one. And then 17 again. Oh no, that was 27. 17, 12, 25. A very slow puzzle that isn't really a puzzle. And there we go. Uh, bonus points for that, I hope. I knew the old Stobart finger work wouldn't let me down. Finally, let's save again. That took a while. And I've been playing for over 10 hours. Wow. Oh. Hi. Yep, I figured. Before I left, though, there was one last thing to do. Those cutscenes are so strange. You won't be needing that replacement piece anymore, Countess. I found it with the children. You'll probably want to be alone for a while. I'll be out in the garden with Lopez. Didn't even, like, let her hear anything, or say anything. George. Welcome back. Come in, Josh. It's good to see you again. Is it? What? Oh, is he gonna start being jealous now? Please don't, George. Sure. What did you find in Spain? Without Andre, we wouldn't have got this far, George. Yeah, I know. The clues led to an what? underground chamber at the bottom of a well. The Templars had left a tapestry showing a chessboard. The white pieces were vastly outnumbered. There was a stream running across the board and a Templar knight on a horse. Does it mean anything to you, André? No, nothing. Maybe we should tell André what else you found, Josh. There's a map and a Latin inscription to the west at the edge of the world. Josh found that in a cave in Syria. Yeah, where the assassin almost killed me. Then we've got the burning of Jacques de Molay and the date, 1314. From the window of the church in Montfaucon Square, one of the few places where nobody tried to kill me. Then we have the image of a church that Georges found at the excavation. I don't recall anyone trying to kill you there either, Georges. And finally we have the tapestry in Spain. Did I mention I almost got killed there? Not yet, but I'm sure you're about to. It was oh, only my George. like reflexes that saved me from certain death. Come on, George. Reflexes, eh? And while I was risking life and limb, where were you, Andre? Getting your glasses fogged up over an Etruscan vase? Dude, That's what are you... Enough, boys. Can Wait, get back to what has Andre got to course. do with this? George My is point. doing this out of his own free will. Well, uh, the Latin phrase what the are hell? The words of Judas. What is George's problem? He was describing the island of Britain. Are you sure? The map didn't look much like Britain. We've already How confirmed it was Britain. Describe Britain as being at the edge of the world. To the Romans, the Mediterranean was the center of the universe. Britain was a remote, unfriendly place, inhabited by blue-painted savages. It hasn't changed much. Well, they've stopped painting themselves blue. Except when they go to a football match. They used an extra plant called Woad, Isetis Tinctoya. The Scots were using it until fairly recently in the wars with the English. Fairly recently? I don't recall the Scots being at war with the English. How recently are you talking about? I believe William Wallace's men used it in the 13th century. They might well have been using it as late as... Uh, you can't remember, can you? 1314. Ah, we're back onto that, are we? Andre! Why are they so pissy with each 1314 other? 1314 in Scotland. The Battle of Bannockburn. That would explain the stream on the chessboard. That's what a burn is. Right, Andre? As in Bannockburn? Right, George. And it gets better. Suddenly they're best Tradition friends. Has it that the Scots were helped by a shock force of, uh, well, can't you guess? Nat Templar? 
Yes, a group of outlawed Templars. They are said to have turned the tide for the Scots. And it all ends at a church. So we're in going the Isle to a church. Britain, at yeah. Burn, in a church. What are we waiting for? I'll call a cab. I can't go. Andre, you've been loads of hell, but. What George is trying to say is that you shouldn't feel. Guilty. What is happening here? We understand you've got commitment. What is happening here? Well, listen, we have to hurry. Let's go, George. We'll see it through. Oh, and uh, don't worry about us. What? Seriously, George is the strangest person ever. I don't understand what he's doing. And I think I'm going to end the episode here. Let's just read this. Uh, where was I? Have discovered a hidden cave and found the pathetic corpses of the missing children grasping the missing chess piece. So the loyal manservant must have hidden them and they wa waited there, terrified and all alone for their father's return, finally dying of dehydration and starvation. Hope the Devascancellus curse has finally been lifted. Scotland Train All the clues came together and suddenly made sense. The year 1314, a church, a stream, or burn running through the site of a massively one-sided battle. It all points to the Battle of Bannockburn, in which small Scotland, in which a small Scottish army defeated a much larger English army. Legend has it that the Scots were aided by a Templar army. So Nico and I are headed to the church of St. Ninians, close to the city of Stirling in Scotland, where the Battle of Bannockburn was fought. Lobino couldn't come. What a shame. Alright, so... Oh, I can't save here. Um... Well... Pardon me. Guess I'm continuing for a few seconds. She must be dead. For, for a few yes, minutes. Yes, my dear. Do you know what time we're due? A quarter to six. But we're running eight minutes late. Is that con? Please don't be con. Would you believe that this... I wouldn't. No, honest. Certainly. Yep. So you... Does the name Merlin, a master? Oh, you said. Mer Do you know what this is? Yes, a young friend of mine shook my hand with one just oh, the other dear. day. Yeah. Perhaps. Is that actually on? Were good. I'm sorry that you've been. You should. Do you know Sterling well? Yes. Is that where you? Yeah. We it's one of the places. Be sure to visit the. Oh, I'm sure it's a neat place, but we are... Uh, is there a church called St... Yes, there is. You do? Of course I do. It's obvious you're in love. You're eloping. Oh, and it... okay. What's the book you read? Oh, a medieval. It's been... This is a creepy lady slash man. Crusade. I assumed the author and I'm just was skipping a, a bit. His name? Professor Nigel P. Graham. That's right. No. George is a great fan of these, so. Can't talk to Nico. Are we done? Where are you going? Do I need to? Don't snap what? at me if you're going to take. A okay, dude. I'm going to take a leak. Oh my goodness! What is happening here? L e a k. Tickets, please. Oh hi. Oh hi. That's a standard full price peak return. We don't have don't tickets have for what? I rarely my ticket is well yeah, but you I do not need to indulge Blimey, you're a funny old tickets please, sir. Here. Oh, they do have tickets. Off to Sterling, eh? Yes, we Well I hope you it's a miserable place. Still, there's plenty of pops. Hello Thank you. Please, I don't like, want to worry you. Continue. But there was something familiar. Oh, it's that guy. It's the guy who Are murdered sure? the guy in the. You're tired. Perhaps you're mistaken. The hospital. Mm, maybe. Can't you sit? I need to. While you're there, check out the buffet. Unthinkable though it is, I am hungry enough. Okay. 
please let me save. Please? There we go. Jesus Christ. Alright. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back next time. Bye!